A Maryland family is fighting for a change in honor of their son. They say their effort will save lives across the state during cold and flu season. News 4's Darcy Spencer shares their story and the local lawmaker who has joined their crusade. Nobody should ever feel the way that we felt that day or any other day. Brooke DeSantis is dealing with an immeasurable loss with strength and a sense of purpose. She lost her five-year-old son, Lachlan, a happy and fun-loving boy, in January of 2020. Lachlan had the flu and was given Tamiflu at an urgent care facility and sent home. When his symptoms got worse, DeSantis took him to the ER. He died hours later. She later learned he had sepsis, the body's extreme reaction to an infection, although he was never tested for it. And that set her into action. When you have hit rock bottom and you have nothing else to lose, you will fight for everything. She's taking her fight to Annapolis, linking up with Delegate Ken Kerr. He's sponsoring a bill that would create Lachlan's Law. That legislation would require hospitals and urgent care centers to set up protocols to look for the symptoms of sepsis and treat the condition, which can lead to organ failure. It would also require training for medical professionals. The, the protocol was not in place. Had it been in place, there's a strong likelihood that her son would be alive today. Kerr's bill is modeled after a New York state law. He says requiring the early detection protocols for urgent care is critical because of the state's lengthy ER wait times. This is a problem, and we do have a solution that looks like it's going to be very beneficial for most people in most cases. Brooke and her husband started the Love for Lachlan Foundation, helping cover the cost of vaccines. And now, with this legislation, they're hoping to continue saving lives in their son's memory. Lachlan is always with us. I will not stop fighting. Darcy Spencer, News 4.